All right, uh, obviously a, a huge one for us uh, versus a really quality opponent, conference game. Um, thought we, we really played well and clean in all three phases. Um, obviously there's things that you always got to clean up and it's never as good as you think after you watch on film, but just super proud of the guys and, and uh, the coaches. Man, we had a great plan in all three areas versus a quality team and, and uh, thought the crowd was awesome tonight. That was really fun to see. Um, we, we play really well at home and, and um, we're a really good football team. Uh, we're a really good football team. You can see that uh, each and every time we play. And, um, you know, I thought the focus was good for, for four quarters. We played a lot of guys. A lot of guys got in there and played. So super, super pleased with, with the way we played. And, and uh, we'll enjoy it and uh, get back to work tomorrow. Questions? You know, you were able to really ball control in that fourth quarter, that nine minute, 26 second drive to really just ice the game. It's, how is that? Is that getting to be able to do that with your offense? Getting able to just take the ball and, and watch the clock dwindle away? Yeah. It used to happen to you. Now you're, you're yeah. getting to other teams this week and last week. Yeah, I mean, you know, that's what good coaching is and, and good players. We had a good scheme. Um, and, you know, you got to play complimentary football and you got to learn from your mistakes, just like the players as coaches. You know, I always tell those guys, don't waste a mistake. And I think we've done a better job. Um, the last two weeks of, of doing that, when you get a lead and, and be able to run the clock a little bit and get Deion Hankins in there and get him going downhill, Lincoln Perry getting him going downhill, uh, you know, Jordan McLeod making great decisions, pulling the ball and getting down. I mean, y'all yeah, know this, uh, but tonight was on offense besides, you know, one or two plays, man, we were really clean. Um, four touchdowns, no interceptions, Ish rushed for over 150 yards. Uh, Jordan's four touchdowns, no picks, 24-29. Like, that's what it looks like, the execution and playing clean. and you got to be able to run the football. And that, that was something that we stressed. And I really challenged those running backs um, the last two weeks, man. we got to be able to run the football. And I thought, I thought Ish came – I told those guys, in games like this, the, the real guys show up to play. And, and, he, and he did that tonight. So, uh, super proud of him and, and uh, everyone. Defense, uh, I think that's maybe the first time in my whole career, no touchdowns. I don't know. Y'all can look that up. But. You know, that, that was pretty impressive. Uh, field goals aren't going to beat us, you know what I'm saying? So that was really good to see the defense. You know, first play of the game, they spit one, and they're like, oh, here we go again. And, you know, we're able to respond and, and hold them. So just super proud of the coaches, players, um, everybody. It was, that was a, a big time win. Jordan McLeod, five touchdowns and four passing, one rushing for him. No interceptions. Uh, it seems like you mentioned the decision making. How, how important, how much does that make this offense go? The right decision. It's everything. It's everything. The decision making, he just has to play point guard. I mean, look at the receivers that touch the ball Joey, Chris, Cole, J Dub, like <clears throat> Bo's out there, Drew Donnelly. You know, like we got, we got a lot of weapons and a lot of running backs that can run the ball. He just has to deliver the ball, make sound decisions. And when he runs, hey, go get what you can get and, and take care of yourself. So, man, he, he's playing He's playing at a super high level and just, man, just really excited for him. And, and Coach Leftwich does a good job, a great job coaching those guys up, man. And, and we had a great plan. Uh, Coach Shoemaker did a great job with the run game, really challenged those guys. Um, so just I thought it was a pretty dominating performance all the way around. You know, the run game, obviously Ishmati, he was, it's nice to get him cooking. But you are able to really unload some of the that running back room, get Torrance Burgess out there, yeah. Hankins, who you mentioned earlier. Is, is when Mahdi is rolling, does it make it easier to get those guys in there, or do you need those guys rolling to get Mahdi going? I think it's probably a little bit of both. I think any time Ish can go like that, I mean, it, it, it just makes everything go. It really does. He's a special back, and, and uh, that's what happens, man. You get in these conference games and you're going, uh, your big-time players got to step up, and, and he did tonight. You know, Coach, last season, Arkansas State hung 77 in, uh, in tonight's game, single digits, no touchdowns. Just how proud are you for this defense? And just what did y'all do specifically to just kind of keep Arkansas at it? Yeah, I mean, we had a really good plan. We really did. I mean, we, we grinded our butts off and, and had a, a put together a really good plan. I thought the defense played discipline. I thought they were gap sound. You know, you go back in the film last year, and <clears throat> it was just an uncharacteristic, like we were doing some silly things out there. And, and so it's just one of those, those games when our defense, when we communicate, and um, we do exactly what we're coached to do, and, and no silly penalties. We got really good players that can affect the quarterback, and man, they got some good players, man. That Rucker, that Cross, their quarterback, their O line. They'll probably have two O linemen drafted. I mean, that's a good football team. They're going to continue to win. So um, that that was really good to see to, for us to come out there and, and get that confidence uh, that that we needed. You know, coming after that same Houston State game, you know, 
team rushed for less than 100 yards and then against Troy and Arkansas State, over 200 yards rushing. Just how y'all been able to kind of reestablish the run game over these past two games? Yeah, I think it's a mindset. Um, I think McLeod's doing a really good job of, of, of putting the backs in good decisions and with, the, with the box reads, and I think the O-line is, is doing a really good job of, of putting a hat on a hat, and, and we got, you know, putting these kids in, in great, you know, opportunities to go have success, and, and that's what good coaches got to do, and, and we got some really good coaches on the offensive side of the ball that are they're putting these guys in, in favorable positions, and and uh, <clears throat> that was a that was just a that was an emotional win. It wasn't a you know everyone's you know I wasn't celebrating j- jumping around all that was like a that was an emotional you know hard fought grind your butt off all week and, and you know staying up here you don't see your kids all week and go in there and, and, and go get a win. So just super proud of, of just the way the guys came out and played. You know because that we we had a great plan. We got really good players. But hey, you got to come out every Saturday and go do it. Just because you got good players and you got good scheme, don't matter. You got to go out there and do it. And, and um, that's what we challenge the guys to do, and, and they they respond. You know, after how that Arkansas State game kind of went, and how everything kind of snowballed, just what does it mean to get a forty-one to nine win? Kind of what you're saying, just getting that really big emotional win. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it's it good. It, you know, it feels good and, and, and all that. But it's one of those deals where you know, I think. We're capable of doing that every week, but you got to go out there and do it. You got to put the work in on Sunday through, you know, through Friday, and then come out and perform on Saturday. So, um, I think this is a good, you know, momentum builder. Obviously, going on the road and, and uh, going to play a tough opponent uh, next week. So, <clears throat> we got to, you know, enjoy this one and, and flush it and, and learn from our mistakes and, and go put on another good performance. Your first two and zero start in Sun Belt play for this program. It's a small goal, but it's still a little. A little something is that nice to hear another another accomplishment like that? Yeah, it really is. I mean, we we got a good team. We just got to keep on stacking wins. Really, we really do. I think you know some of the early stumbles maybe, and you kind of look you know kind of way around the country, kind of see how teams are playing. I mean, we got a, we got a really good team, and I think I think those those games as bad as it it, it, it hurts is that you know we learn something from it and we're going to be better from it and uh, it's a new season once conference started you got to flush the non-conference and, and just focus on conference and hey this conference is wide open now uh, i mean you look around the, the the conference i mean it's a it's a really tough conference with really good teams really good coaches and we just got to keep on going one and zero and look up at the end of this thing and see what happens you know we saw ben bell come back uh, you know he got a lot, lot of good pressure. Just uh, what you thought of his performance? Just him being back on the defensive line. Yeah, yeah. Ben's a, a great player, and he's a warrior. Um, love that kid, um, like like a son, you know. So, um, no, he's you know he he enjoyed this one, and, and we'll you know keep on going week to week and see what that looks like. Was there any kind of snap count for him, making sure he didn't rehash any injuries? Or? No, no. He we wanted him to go out there and go, and uh, we we needed to win this one. So you know, doesn't matter who it is, McLeod. You know, ish, don't matter, whatever it takes to win. You know, sellout crowd with over 28,000 fans. I think through four games, there's been over 100,000 uh, Texas State fans packed Bobcat State. And just wasn't mean that have so many people come and attend these games. And now it's become like a, a real home field advantage. No, it's, it's, it really is a real home field advantage. Just talking about conference play, every one of these games is going to be tough. Uh, four quarter uh, game, so anytime you can have your fans come out and support like that, it's huge. You know, hats off to the administration, and and you you put an exciting brand of football, and you go out there and win. You know, people are going to come watch you. So, uh, super excited for our guys, and, and that that's what it's about. I mean, we had, I mean, over a hundred recruits here today. We had multiple official visits, and I mean, this is a big time environment for these guys to see. Like, I want to go to Texas State and, and play in that offense. I want to go be a D lineman in, 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 in that scheme and, and go get after the quarterback and get picks and celebrate. Like, that's what it's about. And, and the fans enjoy that too. Like, that's what it is. Like, you can put a good product on the field, you go win ball games, they're going to come out. You don't, they're not. So.